feeling like an imposter, like you're not good enough and worthy enough. So often in the entrepreneurial journey, we get to a certain point and then that fear sinks in, that doubt. <clears throat> How to overcome imposter syndrome. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I've been in business a good few years, but I still get that self-doubt. I still get that feeling of imposter syndrome, like I'm not good enough. Now, when I first started out in the entrepreneurial world, actually that voice in my head was much noisier. It would stop me from doing things. And perhaps you were just starting out on your entrepreneurial journey. And you're thinking, do I go for it? Do I make that side hustle? Do I um, start charging my services? Whatever it may be, you're really wanting to dip your toe into the small business world and don't know where to start. And certainly for me, even saying the word, I'm a business owner or small business felt weird. It didn't feel like words that I could own as my own, let alone CEO or any of those other words that people use, founder. And so, you know, we can all have those negative stories, that self-doubt and that negative talk that we say to ourselves. And the reality is that you are enough. Okay, I want you to hear that and I want you to own it and I want you to write it in the comments, say it out loud, I am enough. Because the reality is that you are enough. You intrinsically, in the very heart of your soul, know that you are enough. You are worthy, you are brilliant and talented and capable and you are more than capable of building a business, of doing the thing, going for it, speaking up, using your voice, sharing your mission, your message with the world. You are very capable and competent to do that. But it's scary in the beginning. So recognize that that imposter syndrome, that voice, that self-doubt is natural. Many of us grew up in households where they were sort of high, successful, striving households. And maybe we were surrounded by siblings who were very successful and we never felt good enough. Or perhaps our parents didn't make us feel good enough. Whatever it may be, whatever your story is. And everybody has a story. But the choice for you today is whether you wanna to listen to that story, because it is just a story. Whether you want to embrace that story, whatever it may be, or take on a new story, a new role, a new purpose, because you are more than capable. You are an infinite being. And when you go for it, when you take on that story and decide, I'm not gonna be defined by this story of my childhood, this narrative that I have been told or that I was played out as a child. I'm gonna create a new story, a new vision of myself. And you can redefine your life. And that's the thing that actually, you don't have to set these boundaries. You don't have to stay fixed in whatever box you feel stuck in. You can break out and do something completely different. I have been through, you know, a pretty full on time in the past sort of 18 months where I really went on this very intense spiritual journey and I also went through a divorce at the same time and, and separation. And that was really complex and challenging and difficult. And it made me question everything, including my self-worth, my business, everything that I was doing. And I doubted my purpose. But wherever you are, wherever you doubt yourself, listen to that chink of light within, listen to your inner voice, because actually our inner voice has intrinsic purpose and value that you cannot even imagine. And so when you go within, when you follow that voice, then that self-doubt disappears. That imposter syndrome goes away because that's really your ego questioning if you are good enough. But if you are on your mission, if you're on your purpose and you feel led by your soul, by that kind of inner voice, 
then actually that can really, really help you because it's not about you. It's not about you and your ego. It's about something bigger than you because you're following that path. Now, how on earth do you follow that path? And it's hard. I am not going to lie. It's really hard. Um, following your path and finding that purpose can be challenging. One of the best ways that I have done this is I mentioned that I've been on this spiritual journey is really through meditation. So I meditate a lot every day. And so that helps me find my inner voice. And there was so often where I think, oh, I didn't have time to meditate because I was like trying to build the business and I was hustling and I was doing all these things. But actually going within and finding that purpose means that everything flows, like everything flows. The money flows, the, the, the just synchronicities happen. So it's so much easier. So then suddenly business becomes easy rather than hustle and stress and push and strive. It becomes easier. And when it becomes easier, it's so much more joyful. And that is just infinitely better and more exciting. And you will feel happier about it. But at the same time, that imposter syndrome, that doubt in your head, that just becomes like, well, that's okay, that's just part of my story. And you can follow a new path. And it's so much easier when you've got that kind of, that baseline of that meditation, because it's like, oh, well, I don't need to worry about this because you know I, I know from my inner self, I don't need to worry about this thing. And so that removes that negative self-talk of should I do this thing or am I good enough? Am I worthy enough? And instead you're just following your path. So I love to listen to meditations to do this. Um, I really like Gabrielle Bernstein has this amazing, and it's not expensive, um, amazing um, tool for um, really following your spirit guide and following within. Um, and I have spent a lot of time connecting with my spirit guides, um, whether that is um, you know, actually having help from people um, in understanding things like the Akashic Records um, or um, going to various faith healers. Um, I, I really find that really grounds me. And so I know my purpose. And when I have that, then I don't doubt external things. I don't need it's funny, I don't need coaching in the same way. Um, you know, before I'd be seeking external validation from my husband, from, um, from different coaches. But once I've got this voice within, that all drops away. That's not to say that coaching isn't useful for, you know, defined tasks of how to do something, helping you with growing a YouTube channel or a podcast or building a course or whatever it may be. But that actual intrinsic self-worth, that, that knowing, that guidance, you can be your own inner GPS rather than needing somebody else. You can find it within. I hope you found this video useful. Um, thank you so much for watching. I um, share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your YouTube channel. I am going to be here a lot more and I'm going to do this kind of video. If this appeals to you, I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of it and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye bye.